Hey everybody, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is episode 35 of Comics, Coffee, and Comments. This is where we show you some great books, we drink some awesome coffee, and read some of your comments you guys left on some of my previous videos. As you can see, I am not alone today. I have my good friend Sam. Sam, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm happy to have him. He's got a really cool contest going on right now. You guys are probably going to want to check that out. I'll leave a link to that contest down below. So please check it out, and you can win some really cool stuff. But as always, we start out with what coffee we're drinking. And Sam's got some coffee, and it's That's been sitting good. there for like a couple hours. No. So it's probably cold, but what are no, you drinking? Uh, you know what? This is uh, this is the coffee that Bueller put together for me, and I appreciate it all at the same time with my Bueller cup. So. Well, let's see. How it, it's it's cold. <laughs> like I oh. said, it's been sitting there for a little while. Yeah, it tastes a little But cold. it's got a little bit of creamer in it and stuff. And yeah. uh, it's just a coffee out of my Keurig machine tonight. Uh, I, myself, I'm drinking just basic uh, black hazelnut coffee. Uh, I wasn't able to make it to the coffee shop today. So we're just going with some home brew. And this isn't bad. But I do miss my Mocha Express coffee. And I'll be hitting them up first thing tomorrow morning. Before we get started, I want to do a quick rundown on some things. We have our live show on Tuesday night on Comic Tom 101. It's myself and him. It's at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join us there. We're going to have a lot of fun like we normally do. Like I said, it's on Comic Tom's channel. Sam, do you have any videos coming out this week? Um, you know, I'm doing a, a video to uh, remind people about the contest and go over... Uh, things uh, to do with the contest uh, be a real short one though that sounds good and speaking of the contest we do our monthly giveaway for comics with Bueller and all you have to do to enter the monthly giveaway for here is you just leave a comment down at the end of this video just in the comments down below you can say whatever you want you can say hello you can say goodbye you can say this was fun or it wasn't um, every week we try to add something new to the giveaway this is one of the items that's already in the giveaway. This week we are adding another Bueller box to the giveaway. So when it's all said and done, we'll have a nice stack of books that will be headed in your way. So please feel free to enter the giveaway for the month of February. Okay, so we covered the giveaway. We covered our coffee we're drinking. Let's go ahead and jump into some books. I'll set this one down. And I got a great little collection of Thanos books just recently. And I wanted to share them all with you. This is Thanos number two, and then I got number six, and these were all purchased from the same guy, and Thanos number seven, and I got number nine, we're going to kind of go through these kind of fast, and number 10, and number 11, and number 12, and the big one, which is number 13, he didn't have that one, so I didn't get number 13, so that's all right. Let me set these down. I did get number 14 and miss 16 or 15. I did get 16 and then 17 and then number 18. All these books I got for less than a dollar. So that was pretty good. And some of these are pretty hot books. I looked them up in like that key collector thing and they sell for anywhere from eight to $12. Okay. So I thought that was pretty good, right? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Do you like Thanos? Uh, who doesn't? Yeah, he's well, awesome. Some people don't like him. He did the snap thing. <laughs> yeah, he did the snap thing. Yeah. All right, let me read some of the comments we got. And the first one we have here is from Comic Sam. That's not you. That's not You're me. Sam's Tangled Web. Yeah, I'm a different, different Sam. <laughs> he's different a different nature. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from Comic Sam. He's and this these comments are from the uh, coffee video last week. Uh, Comic Sam says congratulations again on your first year anniversary. You do a great job with good, clean comic goodness. One of the few comic YouTube channels a kid could watch. Thanks for being down to earth, legit guy. Take care, Bueller. Uh, comic Sam, you know what? I, I try to make a point to where every single one of the videos I do is uh, kid friendly, if you want to call it, because I do know that there are kids that watch my videos and I want everyone to enjoy them. So I'm glad you recognize that. And I do make a point that, like I said, they are kid-friendly. And that's why Sam likes them, because he likes kid-friendly yeah, yeah. things. I'm really down on that level. 
Yeah, yeah. He's, he's basically just a big old kid. Yeah, going through <laughs> my third or fourth childhood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all going through yeah. a third or fourth childhood. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, this next one is from uh, a friend of mine, and I wanted to highlight this comment because I have some stuff to show that he just recently sent me. Uh, this is from Brett Hess Art. You know who that is? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, happy anniversary, brother. Uh, your videos make this world a better place. Wow. That's pretty nice. That's really nice. <laughs> uh, lots of cool pickups as usual. Got a box headed your way soon, buddy. Have a great week. Uh, so Brett Hess, uh, he is an artist. And he is an extremely talented artist. And he sent me some of his artwork. And I will okay. put a link down below so you can check out his uh, website and all the stuff that he does. And let me show you some of his art. So I have some of his prints. He sent me a, a handful of prints. And this is just one of them right there. And I'm trying not to damage them because I took, I had them in a little holder. And I took them out so I could show them to you guys. There's that one. And then I have this one. These are pretty cool. That one right there. I like that one a lot. Like I said, Brett has art. He autographed them all for me. Um, this one is my favorite one that he did and this one if you're familiar with Breaking Bad that's the little teddy bear that's in the actual show and then he gave me this big one and I'll probably just have to hold on to this one um, so you guys can see it but it's really cool there's probably a little bit of a glare on there and that's okay uh, but this is the type of artwork that you can find on Brett Hess's uh, webpage like I said I'll put that link down below but the stuff he sent me was just top notch and I'm getting them all framed and they're going to be in my house and the guy's extremely talented. You can also check him out on Instagram as well and I'll put the link to that down below. Awesome. So cool. you think those are pretty cool? Awesome. Yeah. You should order one. I should. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should. Yeah, definitely. Um, let me go ahead and show you some books as well. And I have this one right here, Amazing Spider-Man number 15. And I wanted to show this. Because honestly, it's probably one of the best A covers of the year so far. Because yeah. normally it's a B cover, which kind of is the one to get, you know, for yeah. you know, a book. But this one is probably one of the best. I think you got that one as well. I, I believe so. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't pass that one up. Neither could Sam. No. no. And then I wanted to show this one right here. And this is from another gentleman sent me this book. And he actually has a comment on here we'll get to. But uh, he wanted me to have this book. And this is called Too Much Coffee Man, <laughs> number one. And obviously the book reminded uh, him of me. And I guess I am Too Much Coffee Man. And this was sent to me by Bill from Economics and Comment, uh, Comics. And you guys are probably right. familiar with him. Uh, Bill's a really good guy. I talked to him quite a bit. And he wanted to send me this book. And all I had to do for this book is I had to talk about my Bueller sticker for one minute on the Comic Core, and that's what I did. And oh. nobody knew that's why I was talking about it. He texted me during the Comic Core, and he said, if you talk about your sticker for one minute, I'll send you a book. And so I just oh. rambled about my sticker. That's what that one minute that's was. What, that's what it was. So okay. and that's how it made it on the thing. All right. That's pretty cool. Cool. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get back to some comments. But before I do... Taking a sip of my coffee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Sam, mm -hmm. it's late at night when we're doing this. Yeah. And you're staying the night, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I am going to be doing this. Yeah, yeah, he's staying the night, so in the morning I'll make sure when I make coffee it'll be nice and hot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no doubt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get those comments. The first one here is from Fist of Doom 84. He says, awesome video again, Bueller. Dig in the new intro. That new intro I have at the beginning that was actually put together by my buddy uh, Chad from uh, the Comic Corps. He did a really great job. He says, love seeing the Deathstroke variants. Sitting there for issue 40 was my pickup this week. I had some uh, variants sitting on the set. Um, also, FYI, in regards to your new Batman 52 number one, if you look at the upper right corner of the barcode, you'll see a number. The first number is the issue number, and the second number is the variant, and the third is the printing. So I had like a uh, Batman number one, 
and it was like the third printing and that's how you tell what printing it is by the barcode number and I actually didn't know that. Did you know that? I, I had no clue about that. Well, that's why people watch Comics with Bueller to learn something new. That's why I watch. <laughs> that's yeah. not why you watch. Oh, okay. Not. <laughs> uh, are you watch? Because I make you watch. Um, sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this next one is from Economics and Comics. Uh, the gentleman that sent me the uh, copy book right here. He says, uh, got a lot of love for you, Trav. Uh, you've been very helpful and kind to me over the last couple of months. I appreciate everything you've done for me. And I'm very happy that we have become great friends. Keep up the good work. Your secret guardian, angel, devil, Billy over at Economics and Comics. Uh, you know what? Secret guardian, angel, slash devil. Man, he nailed that right on the on the head there. Sounds about right. It sounds about right. Yeah, Bill's a good guy. If you guys haven't checked out Economics and Comics, please go ahead and do so. Uh, but we're going to move on to some books. And we're going to have Sam show some of his books. Let me yeah. set these down. And go for it, Sam. Okay, uh, I picked up this uh, Marvel Holiday Special. I know it's most late. And uh, this has uh, Santa Claus, who has, who is an Omega-level mutant, you find out. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, right here. This is Master of Kung Fu number 60. It's got Dr. Doom on it. got Dr. Doom on it. And uh, that's part of the reason why I bought it. So, you know, I like can't, that. can't beat that. And then I got this uh, New Mutants Annual number five. I heard heard some things about this that uh, I wanted to pick that up. So. Apparently, Rob Liefeld said it was something special. It, yeah, it has something to do with this new character. He's uh, yeah. We'll see how that know, goes. We'll see how. <laughs> 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 um, then you know, not a lot of love here, but uh, Power Man and Iron Fist seventy three with Rom. Raw's pretty cool. I like yeah. Raw. And and then I got the, I found this. I was kind of shocked that I found it. I know uh, Bueller looked away when, when I picked it up. Like, oh, These, I don't they like give this. me headaches. They really this do. This is sad. Spider-Man Deadpool 23. It's a, uh, one of those lenticular, lenticular. covers. And uh, I try to look at them. And I, literally, it gives me a headache when I look at them. I can't oh. figure them out. Oh, yeah. No, nobody, <laughs> nobody can. Uh, and then uh, I'm trying to get the rest of this uh, thing run, and so I got this number 21 of the thing fighting a bunch of uh, green fists. Very cool. And how close are you to finishing your thing run? Um, I'm probably about six away. And and why is that? Because I, <laughs> I had a lot of help from this so somebody guy somebody gave you a whole stack of thing books. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> I just didn't want them anymore. I, I so was, I gave them to my buddy Sam. Very awesome. Very All right, awesome. is that the last one? That was the last one. Okay, well, I'm reading the next comment. And guess who the next comment's from? No, who, who is it from? It's from you. Oh, well, it's not very long. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> from Sam's Tangled Web. Sam says, wow, great books. Sorry, I did not get to come out and see you at the comic swap meet on Saturday. <laughs> so there was a comic book swap meet. That was last week. That was like awesome. And Sam actually just got done looking at all the books that I bought for less than a dollar a piece. And there's about 300 books. And uh, Sam was thoroughly impressed about what I was able to pick out. And all of those books are going into the Bueller box. And he's actually going to help me. At least I hope he helps me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, help me put them together. But uh, yeah, he kind of bailed on me. He never showed up. We've been talking about it for like weeks and weeks. And then, like, the day of the swap meeting, oh, I ain't going to make it. Uh, I think bailing is a little strong. No, he bailed. You, you totally well, bailed. Yeah. But, I mean, that's all right. What are you going <laughs> to okay. do? But I make it up to you later on. So, yeah, we'll be, I guess it'll so. be good. Yeah, whatever. All right, got to be books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got some books I'm going to share. All right. Um, and these books were actually sent to me from uh, one of the, my viewers, Steve. And Steve's a really great guy. And, uh... For the most part, all these books are going to be donated books for the Bueller box, except for the last one. He actually sent it to me for my personal collection, and he made a note uh, for my personal collection. But I'm going to read a bunch of these, because some of these books I've never read, and I really want to. But this is Happy, number one, and I've been watching this uh, show on Netflix, and it's been really kind of cool, so I definitely want to read that book. And then I have a Superman number one all-star superman this is by grant morrison 
and I've always heard that, that was really good so I'm definitely gonna read that and then I have a nice shiny cover of the week and this is X-Men number 360 I don't know if you guys can see that shine but that's really cool and this one is just kind of neat these are one of those art books that just oh, has yeah. the characters this is Marvel masterpiece I think it's number one but I just like the, the cover on that one and that's a neat book you know this one I mean this is impressive <laughs> very so uh, this one like I said all these books were donated by a viewer Steve and just a really great guy and I talk to him almost daily um, this is adventure comics number 282 and there's a note that says origin of star boy and this is a great looking book and I look this book up and this book is like 200 to 300 dollars and I double checked with Steve and I was like hey did you mean to send this book and sure enough he did and this book is being sent out in the Bueller boxes as part of a donated book it's not even part of the original Bueller box itself which has 11 books these this is an extra book that someone will get for absolutely free um, the last book I wanted to show and this is the one he wanted for uh, my personal collection because he knows I'm an X-Men fan this is X-Men number 62 just a great book and not to mention it's autograph right there did you yeah. see who it's autographed by yeah, you, you told me, uh, Neil Adams. Neil Adams. So, very cool gold ink autograph, Neil Adams. Uh, very cool book. He knows I'm trying to put together a X-Men run. And uh, so he wanted to send that to me, which was just awesome. And I can't say thank you enough, Steve. Uh, really good guy. He's actually donated books to the Bueller boxes before. And he actually is sending regular boxes of books to be donated so a lot of the books that you've already received that were donated were from this gentleman so i want to say thank you so much to steve and you know what thank you so much to uh, uh brett hess from brett hess art and obviously bill from economics and comics because a lot of people sent me the stuff this last week and i think that's uh, pretty cool because we got a very uh generous community to say the least definitely definitely and, he, and sam's gotten stuff too he, oh, yeah, yeah. Sam got a slab one time, and he's never had a slab before. Now he has a slab. It's yeah. a DC book. <laughs> but might, might possibly be my only one. So we'll, you know. I, only, I only have four. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. Between the two of us, we got five slabs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not very many. Uh, but I think that's about it. I think we covered everything. Yeah. Uh, one more thing real quick. Um, this week at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on my live stream that I do every Friday, my guests are going to be the guys from Max Pro Supplies, the president and the vice president should be guests on that night. I'm looking forward. So if you have any questions about comic book supplies, please show up. And uh, it should be a really fun time. I really enjoy interacting with these guys. I spent some time with them. And they're going to talk about their product. So feel free to join us at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday night. And uh, it'll be a blast. Besides that, I think that's about it. There's also a Comic-Con next weekend that I'll be covering. So I got that going on. Sam's not going to that either. No, I'll probably not going to go. I can't get this guy to go with me anywhere. I like to be uh, mysterious and aloof and uh, rebellious. So. It's got written all over his face. Yeah. Mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway... <laughs> Uh, so that's what we got going on and then also and I said this on my live stream I will be doing a road trip in the middle of March from Portland, Oregon to Albuquerque, New Mexico if you are in between Portland, Oregon and Albuquerque, New Mexico my route will be through uh, Boise, Idaho to Salt Lake City uh, to Denver and then to Albuquerque if you are on that route let me know I love to stop by and say hello and hang out if you want to show me some local comic shops and that would be great some people have already reached out to me and i'm looking forward to seeing them and definitely if you're in albuquerque please let me know because i'll be probably there the longest probably three or four days and i'd love to hang out and just have a good time uh that's all i have sam you got anything else uh no i just uh thank you for for letting me be on the show awesome sam was my first official guest on comics coffee and comments and this is episode 35, so I'm happy to have him here, and it's pretty yeah. cool. And 
You know, he's on he's on my shows all the time. You know, I, I try and make my rounds on uh, at least one, <laughs> one of your different shows. So. Oh, I, I appreciate I appreciate yeah. it, buddy. Okay. Eventually, I'll be on on one of his shows. Yeah, you will be. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoy the, your Monday morning and your rest of the work week. I'm taking one more sip of coffee. And uh, the last thing I have to say is uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.